Hi everyone, Renee here, and I've got my five February favorites for you, including a really special box. So my first favorite is a favorite of favorites. If you guys have been following this channel since the early days, then you'll know that one of my favorite e-tailers to just treasure hunt was Olali. It's where I made some of my greatest skincare finds from these brilliant, obscure brands that I never would have heard of otherwise. Things like Hamish All Clean Balm, Pyongyang Yule, Yurang Oil Serum, Sioris. I mean, you know, we can go on. So to celebrate their fourth birthday, they decided to put together a kit of my favorites at 40% off. So in this pouch, you have five full-size products including a bunch of deluxe samples. You know, I actually can't believe they all fit in here. So what's in this pouch? I mean, of course, Hamish All Clean Balm. This is probably my first discovery from Olali that just blew me away. I love the sherbet cleanser and I always go back to it. And then of course, the Pyongyang Yule Essence Toner, which is just pure, soothing, comforting medicine for my skin. No matter what I'm testing out, I always need this on rotation because there are those days where my skin just wants that medicinal comfort. Such a minimal, concentrated, clean ingredients list. It always just soothes, heals my skin. I mean, I love this line so much, I dedicated an entire video to it. So yeah, this has become an icon for me. Sioris's Cleanse Me Softly Milk Cleanser was, I believe, in my 2018 favorites. Anyway, this became my Biologic Recherche Lay You Substitute. Non-foaming second cleanser that is gentle on your skin, but it literally just gets rid of everything, does not leave a residue. This uses mainly plant ingredients that are farmed at the peak of the season, but it just feels so lush and comforting on the skin. In fact, if you're someone who loves to give your skin a good facial massage during cleansing, this is absolutely um, great for it. This will leave your skin feeling clean, yet still hydrated and not stripped. We also have oh, Cosmetic Immunity's Beta Glucan Skin Recovery Serum. This was definitely in my 2018 favorites, although at the time um, it's gone through some rebranding and it was called J Cosmune. But I basically credit my intense love and appreciation for beta glucan as an, a soothing, calming ingredient because of this serum. I go through so many of these. I am very liberal with my use of these sort of hydrating, soothing, calming serums, especially when my routine has other intense actives in it. You know, the supporting skin care just needs to be all about anti-inflammation. But this, like Pyongyang Yule, to me is just minimalistic perfection. This only has seven ingredients in it. Um, you know, no additional fragrances, oils, or anything like that. It's basically beta-glucan, glycerin, centella asiatica. I mean, it's just, you know, beautiful. And of course, Yurong's Brightening Blue Oil Serum, which I featured as my one of my top five oil serums of all time. This is just simplistic perfection. This is an oil serum blend of just four ingredients, but it's so effective. So this uses green tea seed oil, which is just so antioxidant. It is brightening, but it's also a dry oil. So it's not greasy, it's not heavy, it's intensely lightweight, actually. There's also vitamin E and two super soothing ingredients, alpha bisabolo, and also, of course, guaiazoline. You're also gonna get three free deluxe samples. So all this is valued at $180, but you get this anniversary kit for 40% off for 108 with free shipping within the US. What I've been loving for hair is Amika's Reset Pink Charcoal Sculpt Cleansing Oil. This color coordination wasn't planned, by the way. Honestly, when I first saw this, I immediately wanted to put it on my head. And that is not a reaction I usually get from shampoos. So they call this a gentle pre-wash. I see this as a first step oil cleanser for the scalp, which includes pink clay, charcoal, sea buckthorn oil, sunflower oil, and a bunch of other really beautiful, nourishing plant extracts. So for as long as I can remember, I've always double cleansed my hair. I've always done two shampoos. The first one is always really weak and it sort of acts more as a primer for a more satisfying second cleanse. So this actually takes the place of the first cleanse. And I love the application of this. So you basically apply this to your dry scalp before you hop into the shower. But the texture of this is 
thick and goopy enough that it will not run into your face, it won't run down onto your neck, it actually just stays in place wherever you apply it. I just basically apply it down here, I will go here, and I, I just basically um, apply it through different sections of my hair, and it's thick enough that it will just stay nestled on your scalp between your follicles. And then you just massage. You massage um, the treatment into your scalp. It really stays on your scalp. So it doesn't actually make your roots wet or anything. My, my hair and the roots actually stay quite dry. Um, and just my scalp gets the treatment and it starts immediately feeling very calm and cooling. So when you wash it out, it does the same thing any oil cleanser will do is it emulsifies and then it just rinses clean. And you can already feel that the texture of your hair around and close to the roots feel different. It feels very clarified and clean. And then I just use my regular shampoo and I get like a really satisfying cleanse from it. In fact, I feel like almost using this first makes my shampoo work even better. Maybe that's just me. Like with the charcoal and the French pink clay, this really works to clarify your scalp, remove and absorb the buildup without actually drying out the rest of your hair, or even drying your scalp out for that matter, much like a lot of clarifying shampoos do. You know, for me, and I've always said this, my hair care really needs to be about scalp care. So this is one new hair care innovation that I fully embrace. Another formula I've been really impressed with is from Versed, their Weekend Glow Daily Brightening Solution. This is a very special toner. It's an acid toner with some seriously boosted brightening benefits. In fact, I am in love with its profile of actives. I really haven't seen anything on the market so far with this combination of actives, and yet it's so accessible too. So this is like a gold mine of skin tone eveners. Um, it contains two AHAs, glycolic and lactic acid. It also contains niacinamide, um, azelaic acid, kojic acid, green tea essence. If you're someone who's dealing with PIE, which is post-inflammatory urethema, which are basically the inflamed red scars left behind from acne or anything, anything else that's inflammatory on your skin, then this is kind of what you want to use. This is a gentle enough formula. You don't need to be afraid. All the actives combined make up for about seven to eight percent of this formula. The majority of that percentage actually is the glycolic and the lactic acid blend. I would say as far as how strong it feels as an acid and an exfoliant, it's similar to P Pixi Glow Tonic, which in my experience is very gentle. Like I don't get any tingling from this at all. I don't get any redness. The pH value of this is sort of on the higher side um, for an acid, so it's about 4.5 to 5 um, from my own measurements. So the exfoliation aspect won't be that intense, although it still works. It's still definitely working, I can feel it, um, but it's definitely going to be gentler on the skin and a lot less irritating. I've been reaching for this quite a bit because it's gentle enough to use alongside my tretinoin at night, and it really doesn't create any added sensitivity or irritation. There is witch hazel in this, but honestly, there's really nothing about this that feels astringent at all. It actually just feels very gentle and hydrating. There's no smell or fragrance to this. It's actually kind of a nice, simple, concentrated formula. So moisturizers as a category in general don't excite me as much. I'm not like in a rush to try out a new moisturizers. There have been a few exceptions. This is likely the most refreshing moisturizer I've ever used, and I never thought I would describe a moisturizer as refreshing. During application, this cream goes through a texture change, and it becomes this water bomb on your skin. It just douses your skin with hydration. This is like a boost of energy for your skin. It just awakens everything right up. This is really lightweight and layerable. I mean, I used this over the holidays when I was in Asia and it was more humid than I could ever remember it being during winter time. So I put this aside when I came back to the US during January. I just felt like this would be too light and I needed something heavier. But this reemerged this month in my life. Actually, this turned out to be like the perfect hydration bomb serum before moisturizer. So this contains three different electrolytes, magnesium PCA, potassium PCA, and calcium PCA. This also contains three types of ceramides in it. Um, everything that your skin needs to just 
hold hydration in your skin and just stay moisturized I've heard some people mention this has a strange smell you know Paula's Choice products don't have fragrance or essential oils which is so weird to me because I smell nothing this is like scentless to me so so I have a new makeup item that will be in my life for the rest of eternity. Physicians Formula Eye Booster Waterproof Ultra Fine Liquid Eyeliner in Blackest Black. Well, first of all, it is very, very waterproof. I mean, it does not budge. I put this in my waterline and it stays there the entire day. And the other thing is the application, which is about as elegant as it gets. Usually when you have a liquid eyeliner that is that waterproof, it goes on in a very sort of thick, fast to set way. And it's a little, you know, it's, it's not that nice. This glides on so watery and beautifully, and then it just sets. It's like doing calligraphy, I can imagine. So those are my five favorites of February, though technically I guess it's more than five because one of them is a gift set of favorites. But thank you so much for watching everyone. And until next time, I'm wishing you great skin health.